and the song. That's off, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool, I love how they sample his voice on there. I like the shit he was doing with Death Metal vocals. Yeah. Brutality and bloodshed for all that album. So good. <laughs> that poo stuff is gross, though. What? It's the poo. Uh, oh, the yeah. Stuff. Well, he's like eating it and throwing it at people. He's all a monkey. The, all the poo antics. Uh, all those poo antics. Slap the old F-bomb in there a couple times. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with Hey, you know who's a really big fucking G.G. Allen fan? I'll slice your fucking throat. <laughs> Speaking of G.G. Allen... Cameron, a blackbird tattoo and piercing. Oh, 300 shots. Careful, Utah. Yeah, he's a big fucking GG fan. No, I, I like a lot of GG on stuff. Um, but, like, as a person, and like, he is punk rock, but he's a pile of shit. Yeah, I'd never hang out with him. Yeah, he'd probably fucking punch me because I wouldn't give him my heroin. I, I like, don't I like, have. I like when he punched people and then he got his ass kicked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, the one where he's doing a spoken word and he beat, he punched that girl. Yeah. And then, like, three dudes beat the <laughs> shit out of him. I think it was a boss one. I think so, yeah. Because she's like, when are you going to kill yourself? He's like, you want me to fucking kill myself? You want me to fucking kill myself? <laughs> and then there's the Jerry Springer tapes. Yeah. That was great. How it be thy name. <laughs> Jerry, I mean, Jerry. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks Jerry for tuning Springer. in, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for fucking hanging out with us tonight. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, if you guys want to contact us, reach us at rocketpodcast at gmail.com. Send us anything, man. If we've got some ideas you want to hear us talk about, or you're in a band, you want to have some airplay and uh, review your album, let us know. Or if you're just someone that wants to give us money to be fucking assholes, you can definitely do that. If your name is Andy and you want to hear a specific song, play it on the podcast. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at Elon Musk to sponsor us. Oh, fuck we'll get yeah, free dude. Teslas and a free rocket ship. I'm totally hanging out with him. And we could still talk shit on Twitter. I don't care if, I don't care if he has burgers in his ass. Eh? Yes, burger. You guys get it? <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> boy, we're on with it. <laughs> Just to let you know, this is the third attempt. Hey, you know, well, wait, though. Well, what are you doing? Man? Man? No. We're, we, were, we were pre-gaming a little bit, so we might get a little long in the tooth tonight. Um, yeah, we we're still working out how to actually do stuff with the new setup and everything. Yeah. So now we're going to give you the best show that you never heard. The best show. I ever. also want to apologize for the last podcast. Why? Because I was all. Remember, I, my, I was really sick and oh, my, yeah. my throat, I, my my voice was gone. When I had to take a piss. And yeah. Didn't and I'm just sitting there. Oh, I didn't pause it, DJ. You should have paused it. I didn't look. I was fucked King. up. Co-pilot. Yeah. Right. Okay. We would have we would have died in a plane. Team effort here. <laughs> but you know the best thing is I can do now. What? Oh. Woo! I can Ric Flair again. Yeah, dude. That's good. My voice would just cut out. The last one, I'm like, hey, what's up there? You know, sound like some like eighty year old fucking <laughs> like New me. York Jew lady talking about my daughter's coming over later tonight. Oh, geez, later on. We're I gonna have some coffee and maybe some butter on our biscuits. 
Later, I got to go to the podiatrist. She oh, we made. I hate it. Oh, Glavin. Glavin. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's like it's... <laughs> we'll the toast. All right, man. So this is for the lost and for the fallen and all you cunts that are still fast having a great time. Cheers, motherfuckers. Cheers. Ooh, ooh, I drooled a little. Did you? Mm-hmm. That's cool, man. Yeah. Now, yeah. now when the cop pulls me over, my beard will taste like whiskey. Say, it tastes like beard. Taste Just lick my beard, cop, and let me go away. <laughs> <laughs> It'll give you a buzz. He just starts licking you. He's yeah. like, <laughs> like sucking on my beard like it's a fucking teat. <laughs> I just like roll it into a little fucking. I don't know. That's a weird. That'd be a weird move. You know? That was a weird boner you just gave me. I know, dude. That was a bat boner. It was a bat boner. Um. So what's going on with you, dude? Anything? Yeah. So um, I got a couple things. I uh, I bought a mountain bike. No oh, shit. And then the tire blew out of it just from sitting there because I didn't line the beat up. And then yeah. I took it to a shop to have it fixed and. They're like, I don't even know what this is. I'm like, it's off a Euro bike. And like, oh yeah, but do you get off the Amazon? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, but you know what? I ain't paying no three grand for a bike if I don't know if I'm gonna be riding it. Fuck no! I'll get the fucking four or five hundred dollar one off. Would you get Amazon? Off Amazon. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, and I, I knew I was going to get shit for it, too, because I was looking, like, about what happened to my tire, because the tube actually popped out first, and it was still inflated. It looked like a snake was coming out of my fucking bike tire, and then it just popped. Mm-hmm. Like, then I went to take a picture the next morning, and then they are kind of telling me about, like, the tires are a little bit too big for it, like a weird size. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um... Anyway, so they were giving me shit, and I expected it. I'm like, well, you know, thanks, and they helped me. They hooked me up. I, I got, like, a new tube, one of those fancy slimy tubes, like, if you put fix-a-flat in your tire. Oh, yeah. It's like that. Oh, so if you run a thorn over something, just leave it in, and it's not going to deflate your tire. Fill it, yeah, fill it. it'll cover it up. Well, that's cool. And then, uh, but anyway, then I went out to lunch with my daughter today and saw the new Marvel Universe. Whoa! No, it was uh, Doctor Strange. Was it good? It was really good, but I I had a couple of things I didn't like. I have a hard time giving a shit about Doctor Strange. Well, I've always liked Doctor Strange. When I was a kid, I read the comics because he was oh, like really? a, he was an occult guy. He was like a fucking like necromancer basically, yeah. and he, you know, and so he's like a, a magician kind yeah. of, you know, a wizard. Like an Aleister Crowley, yeah, guy, but like Marvel form, but not so gay and pedophilic. Yeah, and um. But, like, uh, it was really good. I mean, there's a couple things that, that, that like, it was woke infested a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, dude. But it wasn't too much. It was, there was a couple things. And the one thing, she had two moms. I'm like, I don't care. That's cool. That's hot. You know? But then the other thing is she, she had a Levi jacket on for most of the movie, and right. she had a trans flag pin on there. Oh, wow. I'm like, dude, you're virtual signaling, Marvel. Don't, you don't need to put real-life shit in your movies because yeah. people watch your movies because they done dealing with real-life shit. Yeah. You know? And so that was my only complaint. It was a pretty good story. Bruce Campbell was in it, I was telling you. And, yeah. And it was sick. It was like... He put some, like, thing on him, and he made him, like, attack himself, like, if you've seen uh, Army of Darkness, when, um, or Evil Dead 2, actually, when yeah. he chops his hand, his hand's beating the shit out of him, put the plates on his head, and... If you haven't, just fuck you. Stop listening now just and go, go watch away. it. Go away. And, um, so he's, like, beating himself, he's, like, smashing his head into so his hot dog stand. So is it, like, an homage to Evil Dead 2? Oh, yeah, definitely. No shit! Because he's a hot, he, he's working, like, a hot dog stand, so he's smacking <laughs> his head, you know, and shit. <laughs> And uh, he's like, she's like, he's like, don't worry, it doesn't last that long. She's like, what, it'll be like later, three hours or something? He's like, uh, three days or three, three months or something like that. Three months. I'm just beating the shit out of himself. <laughs> but uh, other than that, no, it was, it was actually, um, it was actually kind of dark, like yeah. tons of fucking motherfuckers dying it. 
like everybody's dying in it and it's pretty crazy and it's it, it's worth watching actually it's one of the better marvel movies that's come out oh cool even with the signaling i just try to like okay don't ruin that movie for me it's and gonna be ever it's gonna be it everywhere is, and yeah. everything it's a new fucking thing dude yeah so and then yeah that's pretty much working and jamming with, yeah we got a new song nice yeah what you been up to you i had a tooth ripped out of my face what i'm not supposed to be drinking well, um, do you need a straw? Or smoking. <laughs> they said, don't drink or smoke for a week. And I was you like, can get the dry raw, or no, the dry socket. No, dude, I go, I go into that dentist's office, and I just fucking crack jokes the entire time. Mm-hmm. The receptionists are fucking dying. Nice. I went in there, and I got my extraction shit done, but when I'm checking with the receptionist, She's like a cute young girl. Oh. Yeah. Um, Peter. Not that I could do anything. <laughs> my balls belong to my wife. <laughs> she keeps them in her purse next to her tampons. As she should. So I always know where they are. Yeah. Just like my car keys. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a carabiner on your nutsack. <laughs> Just uh, hook it back up. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, she's she's checking me in and everything. She's like, we're going to put you on nitrous so, you know, you'll be okay. Like, yeah, I'm going to do nitrous, and then, actually, uh, I have some heroin. I'm going to go in your back room, and I'm going to go shoot up real fast, and she's all, stop. <laughs> stop. Like, I said, like, I said something naughty, dude. Yeah. Kind of gave you a chub. <laughs> it moved. It moved. Because she's a cute girl. Yeah. You know what I mean? she, oh, no, I feel She's you. laughing. She's like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, uh, yeah, my daughter, my youngest daughter had... Uh, braces and everything so we were always going and they're Look at my they cat. had a couple uh that's cool let's see it yeah mine's still bloody which is more, yeah more metal than yours and uh every time i go there man they had the cutest girls working there and yeah. i'm just sitting there like i'd stop i'd be on my phone or something and i look up and i'm like oh my god every year is beautiful you gotta have cute <laughs> it's like so have, weird i think you gotta have cute girls working at a dentist's office because no one wants fucking like to get Old man Withers coming up. Let me check your tooth. Man, man, false. I'm gonna floss you with this string. I pull it out of my dick. I'm gonna floss you with a pubic hair. Here's my pubis from my pubis region. <laughs> Thick, because I was in the war. You fucking faggot. I'm like, sorry, sir. It I tripled my hair fucking width. I appreciate your service. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Your fucking fucking T Rex comes out and she's like. Okay, I'm ready to clean your gum. <laughs> Open up. I'd rather not. Mm-hmm. Gross. So but is yeah. it feeling okay though? It's not hurting or anything. I feel it. It's not painful. Like, yeah. This is today's the first day in like several weeks where I didn't have to take Medication. ibuprofen yeah. several times a day. Yeah. They offered me heavier shit, and they're like, it "Could be habit forming," and I said, "No, thank you, sir. I will suffer." They always try to give me lower tabs, and that shit makes me fucking, like, it, yeah. I my stomach can take a lot of shit, but for some reason, yeah. that shit is like, nope, yeah. and I fucking vomit. And so I'm like, can I get something else that's not like, I mean, you know, and yeah. they're all, you want Percocet, Percocet, or something like that? I'm like, Jesus, no, man, I just want... Yeah, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, I'm... I'm definitely Don't like, give me the best shit. Just give me something that's going to take the edge off and I can just be a man and just take, hack the yeah. pain and drink cold drinks. I don't want to fucking like end up blowing a guy for a sandwich. <laughs> you got a sandwich, man? <laughs> you one of them sandwiches with the Percocets in There was a fucking David Tell. Are you, do you like David Tell? Oh, yeah. I used to watch that Insomniac. He has that fucking bit about becoming a like gambling addict he was like next thing you know you're blowing a guy for a bologna sandwich oh yeah 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 lesson is eat before you go <laughs> <laughs> I think I yeah uh, I think I have that stand up CD of that one yeah that's pretty great that's one where he talks about like the trans <coughs> the transvestite hooker that beats him up and steals her money and shit <laughs> <coughs> that shit's hilarious so, you know when you first make love to a <laughs> to a man or a confused young boy. Oh, he's got the one part. What I'm trying to say is I miss my dad. <laughs> <laughs> There's the one where he's all, you know, 
The worst thing about people that don't drink is they don't understand what happens. You uh, <laughs> you get drunk right night and you drunk call somebody. You're like, yeah, let's sell our houses and get in a van and we'll travel the world. <laughs> They're like, yeah. No one shows up the next day with a van <laughs> going, let's go, guys. He's like, but I called my mom one time and she was bitching about where she's like, well, come live with me, mom. <laughs> and so she actually does. And he's like, fuck, why did I do that? She doesn't understand the rules. And then, and he's all talking about when his mom's there. And then he's all, there's nothing worse than going, like, watching your favorite porno tape in the VCR. (laughs) Sorry, guys. He just had the microphone. (laughs) And he's all, and he's all, and your mom lives there. And then you go out to the store and you come back. And the next time you want to watch it, it's in a different place than you left it. <laughs> <laughs> so his mom like totally busted it with his Mom's porn. watching it. <laughs> shit, but yeah, he's funny. David Tell's fucking hilarious. All right, we won't do any more of his comedy. This isn't the Carlos Mencia show. <laughs> hey, Burn. Fuck that guy. Yeah, cheater. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Still uh, loving my job. Yeah, man. I'm so happy for you that you're Thank like, you. dude, like when you get a job that you're just like, I don't mind being here. Yeah. Dude, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, like how much I thought about calling in sick every single time mm-hmm. I had to clock in at that old trucking place I was at. Mm-hmm. I guess it doesn't hurt to say their name. Uh, but um, like every night I was like, God, Chase calling. I fucking hate my job. Mm-hmm. I hate it. I hate it there. And this place, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'll go I away. hate certain days at my job. Yeah, because there's certain things I have to do that I just don't like doing. Yeah, but um, overall, dude, man, I mean, it's like total freedom. Yeah. I'm there for like an hour, hour and a half yeah. in the office, and then I'm just by myself all day. Yeah, and I can listen to tune skis. I can listen to books. That's the one thing I do, uh, uh. Because it's such high security, uh-huh. you cannot have like a cell phone at all in yeah. the facility. Yeah, because they're fucking blank checks everywhere. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, you can't have a, a cell phone. So that kind of sucks. So I mean, like that, I can't like. Listen. Yes, I can't listen to like Bro Ohio podcasts and but shit. Not like I can't a... listen to music and shit. But Bro Ohio podcasts. Yeah, they're great. They're funny. Um, but uh, everything, but yeah, everything else I'm. Fucking happy, dude. Yeah. We're pretty happy with it. That's awesome. That's yeah. like a lot of people who just can't be at a job where it's like, I don't, fu- I like being here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm excited. Like, the best thing for me is, like I said, I listen to a lot, I listen to books. Mm-hmm. And so when I'm listening to a book at work, I don't listen to it on the ride home. I don't listen to it on the way to work. I listen to it when I'm at home. Yeah. I wait. So, like, I remember when I started listening, I had the, all, all the audio books for the Wheel of Time series, which are like 1,300 pages each, and there's oh, like yeah. 13 books. <laughs> it took me months just to listen to it at work. Yeah. But it was like, I'd stop it. I'm like, nope, I'm not going to listen to it. I'm like, I want to f- I want to find out what's happening. God damn it. You know? <laughs> and so you're excited to go to work. Yeah. And that's a trick right there. Make yourself excited to go to work. Yeah. Cameron does the same, oh, the same thing with, it's like, the entire Stephen King universe. Oh. Like, I guess all of them kind of encompass yeah. each other, like, throughout. That's what Castle Rock, that, that, Castle uh, Rock. the one on Hulu. Yeah. Uh, it's that if you actually, actually watch the first season. Yeah. Like, Sissy Spacex in it. Like, all these people that has been in Stephen King movies uh-huh. are in it. And you're like, what? But they're not oh, the cool. people they were. They're just, like, pe- characters. Yeah. And um, it's set in Castle Rock, which is one of his fictional places. Right. It starts in the Shawshank Redemption fucking Isn't prison. Isn't it a real it, place in like a Portland, no. Maine? That he did because he, he's from like Portland, Maine. No, Shawshank, he's right? from the East Coast. Maine is on the East Coast. Portland. So they Maine. said Portland, Maine, Maine. Like, yeah, like, it's in Maine. All his shit's in Maine. God damn it, nigger! Fucking Paris, Texas is not in France. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's in England. <laughs> Paris, Texas is in England. You know what I'm talking about, man. Mike is, Mike is my dumbest friend. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Portland, Maine, Portland, Maine, or something like that. Like Maine, he's like from like fucking Maine. Yeah, and uh, like, but it starts out in like the Shawshank prison and everything. And so, and the second <laughs> season's all about when um, 
put the this chick down from for the me. chick from Misery was young. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's pretty trippy. Really? What's the song? Uh, Hulu. I don't know. Hey Hulu, I just gave you a fucking free plug. Give us money. Just kidding. Give me a free <laughs> subscription. I want to watch. The I show. got one. I got Verizon. <laughs> I want to watch the Shield again. Yeah, Verizon actually gives you a fucking free Hulu. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Can I have your password? Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, man, I'll give you all my passwords. I got all sorts of fucking crazy shit. My favorite is Curiosity Stream. It's like 20 bucks a year. Really? I'm gonna and it's it. all just documentaries oh, about okay. history and shit. Dude, it's fucking great. Jizz in my pants <laughs> right? Sure. It's amazing. Oh, man, we're just plugging too many people. We today. are. So, um... Tonight's going to be a long show. Yeah, we're going to Every song fun. we're playing is long as shit. You're going to enjoy them. But it's going to be long as shit. Except for that weak-ass fucking five-minute song. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couldn't think of anything else to write in that five minutes. Can you put another, like, 18 minutes 18 on there? 18 minutes on there? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Never heard of her. Shut up. <laughs> Sometimes I cough and I chase chicken nuggets. Oh. Not that I had chicken nuggets. I, I didn't just, know. I thought you stood up and slapped him on the fucking chair. Just a couple of chicken nuggets. Sublamo. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Fucking dip in honey mustard. <laughs> Teabagging <laughs> some meat. What about honey mustard? You hate that too? You hate honey mustard? I can have honey mustard on certain things. Pretzels. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, do you know what I don't like on pretzels? Those big-ass crystals of salt. Oh, I love that rock, rock it, salt. Back dude. it up, dude. I love it. Can I just get one raw? Savory. <laughs> you want a raw dog at all the time. Christ. All right, we got a great show for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking 21 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> How about we play some motherfucking badass metal? All right, we're going to play some metal. We're going to get the show on the road. Nothing Hail is, Satan. Nothing of this nonsense. Destroy your 666. Yeah, that's what we're playing. Unchain the wolves, unchain the wolves, unchain the wolves, and set the night on fire. Hope we're not doing anything in the next 10 minutes. That was good. We're not doing anything for 10 minutes. (laughs) That was good. (laughs) This is good shit. This album, this whole album is just fucking just awesome. I was told with my mom in the past. Yeah. I was like 96 or some shit. I was 16. Right. 96, I was 20. Right. Right. I ran away for my first time. Oh, for right. so that was going to be a great time. What are you doing, baby? Yeah. yeah. I always
Destroyer 666 off that fucking epic album Unchain the Wolves. Let's just keep it and that way. was actually Unchain the Wolves' the song. Yeah. And if you haven't listened to that album, then you're dumb and you should go listen to it now and be cool. Big dummy. You big dummy. Speaking of music. What do you want, you big dummy? I'm just fucking around with the, the levels real fast. Uh, Sorry. There you go. Great distraction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have did this earlier. Um, so I just say. Uh, Speaking of Grand Isles Key. Speaking of fucking albums. <laughs> new Grand Isles Key is out, and it's been out for a minute. I think we played it one song. Yeah. Last last podcast. Was it the last podcast? Yeah. Was it? It was the day it dropped, I think. No, we played Goat of a Thousand Young, a song from that. I thought we did one of the... the I, no, we played the one song, the uh, something Judicus. Is he right, or is he wrong? I don't know. You should hit us up at rotmypodcast.com <laughs> or gmail.com and tell us that we're wrong. But anyway. If you've ever dipped a tampon and ketchup, give us an email at rotmypodcast.com. Best Halloween costume ever. <laughs> the a fucking tampon sickle. I haven't seen one. <laughs> For vampires. Yeah. Delicious. That's gross. Tastes like lead. <laughs> Mine was coppery. Smells like pennies. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why we had the old towel. <laughs> Put the towel on the bed, baby. It's fine. Yep. Every guy knows that. Damn right. Lay the towel. Down. I'm good. You I good? Uh, yeah, I'm good for right now. Right. Well, Talk about the fucking album. I'm. I, I'm gonna be honest, man. Full disclosure. I'm pretty. Uh, New to a lot of this kind of music, just kind of discovering it, you know, over the past, I'd say, like, six years. So, um, I'm not sure exactly uh, when I first was introduced to this band. It was probably through a a friend who, like, liked them a lot and stuff. Uh, And I fucking dug it, you know. Uh, Dude, Gramble Wild's key. If If you just go from start to finish, you're on a wild ride of fucking awesomeness. Yeah. And that was one of the very first... I mean, people want to talk shit. They were one of the very first black metal bands in the United States of yeah. America. They've been doing it for a while. And were they from, in, like, Indianapolis? Or where they from? Uh, no. no, I think they're in the South. I don't remember. Oh, are they? Okay. Uh, but yeah, it was kind of a... Uh, I listened to some of, the, some of their music, and I, I was digging it, you know. Um, but when was it? It was like... You played me, like, a really, like, kind of obscure track yeah and it had like this really groovy like it was fast and thrashy and pissed off oh no that was off the uh, Goat of a Thousand Young demo was it? yeah and then all of a sudden it went to this like groovy like slow kind of uh, I don't know real catchy yeah. uh, tempo that I really fucking dug and 
I saw. I, or, uh, I didn't see anything. I saw the music. I was tripping balls. I saw the music. I saw. <laughs> I've actually seen like notes I, coming out of his. I smelled colors. I smell the color. But um, this album had a lot of change ups and shit. Like through the songs. Oh yeah, definitely. Like you know, I They're mean, bouncing. Yeah. I give them a little bit of shit just because all their songs are like an hour and a half long, but. Like, there's a lot of change-ups and shit, and you're not yeah. getting bored throughout. Yeah. What'd you think of this album, man? You've so, been a fan for a lot I've, longer than I no, have. Yeah, I have been a fan for a long, long time. And, uh... So, when I listened to this album, I was kind of expecting something more like, uh... uh Judo Beast Assassination. Mm-hmm. Which is a little bit more thrashy. Yeah. Um, but, um... I think that's the album I played the most that's a good album though that's don't get me wrong i'm not saying the, anything it's bad band. but it has more like a little more thrashy riffs in it yeah and um but the new album it is a, a it does sound like old gbk uh there's a few riffs mm-hmm. and a few songs that sound a little more fucking argo slinty but you can't fucking say well it's the same guitar player yeah. you know glal that dude's an absurd now. That's fucking sick of shit. Yeah. And that 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 promo they put out with that was a good song. But it, I think uh, this one, he's been more into the Argo other band. Has a promo? No. Or absurd? Has absurd. It was a. It was uh, absurd. He's playing with absurd now. Oh really? Yeah. And oh, and I fucking uh, there's both? officially two absurds now. Yeah. What the fuck's going on with that? So it's like the. Like both original members or both brothers like hate each other or something and they fucking <laughs> and they made their own absurd. But anyway, yeah, so um but with but he's in Argus Lint, yeah. Absurd and GBK. But GBK I believe it's been about nine years since they put an album out because he was more into the other stuff. Yeah. And so He's like just it, the you, most you can feel it. You can you can feel all three bands kind of in this new album. Yeah. Like it sounds like old GBK at parts, and then it ha- kind of sounds like uh, um, Argus Lint at other parts, a little more yeah. deathy. Yeah. Like and um, and it still has those kind of I don't know if if you listen to Absurd. I mean, hey man, I ain't judging nobody. It's good fucking music. And uh, what what the fuck was that? It or, was. Uh, are you judging no, nobody? I, no, I said I don't judge nobody for listening to it because. Yeah. What are you talking about? If you listen to it, it's you're cool. Because <laughs> some people are like I don't want to listen to it because I know what they're saying. No, guys in German, shut up. Oh, dude, and uh, this is rock a podcast. Yeah, I know shit. And so, but if you know absurd, you can see that parts in it too. And so the whole album as a whole, it actually had a great flow from the beginning to end. When yeah. you just sit and listen to it, I had uh, some some awesome vape, and I listened to it. Mm-hmm. And some headphones, some big mm-hmm. cans. Oh yeah, man, that's yeah. the way to do it. I got it those right seven point one fucking like uh, headphones. That's how to do it. And it was like amazing. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, this is a good album. I listened to it like three times in a row. Yeah. And I, just to get the, you can always pick out the parts that you like and the songs that you like yeah. from listening. But this one's actually really good. Like a great start to finish. One of those albums you can listen to from start to finish because. After you listen to some for a while, like most albums, you can like, okay, there's these three songs I really like on here, and the rest is like, okay. Yeah, that's a rarity. Yeah. I mean, but I when you can listen, this is, I can listen to this through because the, like we are saying, the change ups and the mm-hmm. riffs uh, and the timing are all just like on point, and there's a lot of diversity in it. So you I like that. It's not so cumbersome. Yeah. Or cumbersome. Or cumberband. Cumberbund. 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 Sorry. It's not so Cumberbund. Where it's like holding the... <laughs> Cumberpatch. Again. That's the guy that was in the... He's Doctor Strange. Mr. Cumberpatch? Mr. Cumberpatch. Mr. Cumbersnatch. Just <laughs> come on the patch of hair right here. He's cumin. And snatch. Uh, so... <laughs> good job, dude. This is the best show ever. <coughs> um, <coughs> so... Kill me, Smalls. With their releases... Where do you, like, fucking rank this one? Because uh, I've seen a few guys that are like, This is the best hundred one ever! So, I'm not sure I've listened to it enough. I've listened to it a bunch of times. It's really... But, like... Still processing You know, it. like, it always, like, holds out, like, the memory of hearing the first thing. So, the first thing if you hear of a band is usually your favorite album, if you like them. But, um... I heard... 
I think it was Judo Beast Assassination was the first one I heard. Mm-hmm. And then I got, I was online uh, not stealing music. I was in <laughs> chat rooms and I was trading people music. And um, I got the Goat of a Thousand Young demo. Right. And it's really good. And it, it, to me, it doesn't really represent Graham Berlisle's key because it doesn't really sound like a lot of their stuff after that. Uh-huh. Um, they very matured as um, musicians and made it more like a black metal, black metal sound. Like you would think of like a black metal riff, like, you know. Right. And um, with all their albums, after they they progressively got better as musicians and uh, riff writers. Yeah. And they were like, man, some of them riffs are fucking so sick, bitch. Yeah. You know, and... Um, but this one, I would say, that would probably be... As far as I'm listening to it now and enjoying it, I would say this is probably like three on the list. Hmm. Okay. What's number one? Judo uh, Beast. Judo Beast, yeah. yeah. Judeo cool. Beast Assassination. That shit has got... It's thrashy and it's fucking deathy and it's black. That that whole album fucking... Kosher is really good too, so... Yeah. Uh, related to what you're saying, just piggybacking on that, um, I think Judo Beast Assassination was also the first one I heard. Mm-hmm. And that's why that one kind of really dug its uh, claws into yeah. me and has kind of like a special place in my heart. Yeah. But like I said, I am new I to a lot of this, uh, you know, kind of music. Um, oh, young Joe son, I will show you the way of the left hand path. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm old as shit. No. Um, but, uh, yeah, I am fucking digging this album though. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I picked it up. I got from Sinistrari Records. I don't know. I know uh, the place. You should the place in Germany? What, what's it called? That's uh, that's Galal's label. That one sold out like fucking. <laughs> yeah, almost instantly. Like yeah. instantly. So I mean, <laughs> like from a business standpoint, it's nine years, man. From a business standpoint, that is a great problem to have. Yeah. That everyone's like, ah, oh, this fucking album's coming out. We want you know jump all over it. But like from like a distribution like. Um, you get limited quantities, fan, yeah. Fan standpoint, it's like, ah, fuck, I missed, the, you know, I kind of missed mm. the boat on that bitch. No, but you didn't, did you? I you didn't, got no, it, baby. I got it. Yeah, I jumped all over. I well, I saw. Well, just from like talking to people, it's like I'm like, oh shit, this fucker's gonna sell out. I gotta buy yeah. it. I gotta jump on it right now. And I hit up that dude and I said, hey, do you got any more of those? And he said, yeah, I still have a few. Because I did try to go to the website all, first, give and me. buy it, yeah, and it was like for pre order. So I was like, all right. Oh, okay. I know yeah. it's kind of a complicated, kind of a boring story, but I was able to get. I know people. People know records. your pain of going on there and trying to pre-order, and the website's shitty. Yeah. And you're like, fuck, God, just want the album. <laughs> you know. I'm just giving you the answer. Assholes. 1982. God, just give me the answer. Just give me the album. <laughs> But yeah, I was able to get on it, and then <laughs> I was talking to uh, Matt from Hate Propaganda, and yeah. uh, he actually had some. So if you guys haven't bought it, you know, maybe hit up yeah. uh, Hate Propaganda, H eight eight Propaganda, and Hate. maybe you could find them, find a physical copy. I know. I'm glad I got mine though. I yeah, got mine. I, I'm getting. I got mine, nigga. Get I don't have journals. mine yet, but it's it's. Fucking the old vomiticator accidentally ordered two of them, and so he's gonna give me one of them. So that's cool as shit. Well, sweetheart, I feel all kind of Jewish accepting something for free. That's anti-Jewish. How many times have you like paid for a meal for that young, lovely young man? Or like, dude, I'm like broke because of that. Or drove him somewhere because <laughs> he doesn't have a fucking car. I wouldn't feel. I wouldn't feel reptilian. Don't about get it at me all. on your trans shit, because no, they saying. had no penis, so it wasn't a boy. I'm just saying. There it is, dresses one. How many favors have you done for that sweetheart? <laughs> I wouldn't feel Jewy about it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Jewy. Like, 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 bitch, this is friendship tax. I fucking do a lot of shit for you. <laughs> Oh, no, I feel you. You better buy that fucking album, bitch. Yeah, do it. <laughs> he 
You know what? Should we put a fucking a song up from this album? This bitch. Yeah, we're gonna play your amazing. favorite. Amazing. We're gonna play your favorite. Do you All want right. to do a preface to it, or do you want? So, if anybody's like a really, really big fucking fan of GBK, you might recognize some of the riffs on this song because it's actually off the demo, and I'm not gonna tell you what song it is. But if you listen to it and listen to that, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, thanks to Blitz Carnage for telling me that because I didn't even know. <laughs> Here you guys go. It's turbans nailed to their heads. <laughs> I love the titles. Squeege, man. Give me a beer. You got squeege? I got squeege. Oh, that's like, oh, I got a lot of beers. I thought you had a shit. Squeeze Yeah, dude. That's just 
really got an idea. The queer results. No, you are all right. And so is the guy giving me this quiz. What the shit? God oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Just kidding. You're a ultra trucker. That's like, you know, short the cars and shit. Is that why you like low grass prices and uh, good for all the big health? Is that what your country's fucking thriving and you fucking can afford to fill up your tank five times for one trip in a fucking vacation? If it is, sign me right up. <laughs> I like these things. <laughs> yeah. Dicks in your mouth. Swallow, please. Sorry. That was, a, that was a little aggressive, dude. I didn't mean to yell at you. It actually got me kind of fucking smiling because that's the kind of toxic masculinity I like. Biggie bam, bitch. <laughs> no, it's a gun show. I'm going to do push ups <laughs> sometime this week. A few of them. Eventually. More than one. So. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Watch out. <laughs> hide your kids. Hide your wives. Because your dick is like a knife? I don't know. I'm trying to rhyme. Because my dick is like a knife. There once was a frog who lived on a log. His name was Rog. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> if you get it, you get it. If you get I it, you get, get it. it. His name's Rog. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Man. So I'm going to give you a quiz. I've been doing a political quiz. So I'm going to show where Joe really is on the on the political even spectrum. Even before we take this quiz, I feel like I'm pretty right wing. Yeah, I consider myself a conservative, not a Republican. Like middle right, uh, a neutral right, or far right. God, I don't know. I don't know. I wonder if I'm far right. I am on some stuff, but other stuff I'm like almost like far left. It's weird. I'm a fucking weirdo. Yeah, you are. Fucking commie. Oh, yeah. Kill my house. Just kill me now, dude. If I ever say I want to be a communist, just fucking like, oh, hey, you forgot this shank knife in my fucking head. I can't. Alex hasn't bought my new gun yet. Off <laughs> <laughs> with the quiz. And now. Um, with the quiz. 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 Stop. Quiz. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, dude, this is going to be a long... It's kind of a long one, dude. It's, it's six pages. It's going to be a long show. All right, so... Strap in. Thanks. Just don't just, like, rifle off an answer. It's a multiple choice. Yeah. Uh, well, it's strongly disagree, disagree, agree, or strongly agree. Those are the answers. Okay. So, okay, here go we ahead. go. Just whip your dick out. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm putting that back. Not, li- <laughs> not literally. <laughs> well, I couldn't help myself. Okay, if e- economic globalism is inevitable... Wait, read it slower. If economic globalism 
is inevitable, like it's going to happen no matter what. Right. It should primarily serve humanity rather than the entrance of transnational corporations. Yeah. Obviously. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Agree? Strongly agree? Yeah. Which one? Strongly agree. Okay. I'd always support my country whether it was right or wrong. Strongly agree. No one chooses their country of birth. Wait. What? I'd always support my I country. Always support my, yeah, I do. I do. Whether I do. it's right or wrong. I do. Not the politicians. But the country. But yeah. the country, yes. Yeah, strongly agree. 100%. Sorry. Say, no one chooses their country of birth, so it's a foolish to be proud of it. Go fuck yourself. How about that? Strongly disagree. Man. I, I agree with that. <laughs> I agree with you. I strongly agree with that. Fuck you. I'm glad that Micah was able to interpret my go fuck yourself. Yeah, man. Fuck that. <laughs> Our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. True. Strong. Er, don't, agree. Agree. Okay. Oops. Agree. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Strongly disagree. Military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. Strongly agree. There is n there is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Strongly agree. I definitely agree with that. It's all like the news has become a yeah. fucking yeah. That's ridiculous. It's a joke. People are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. Nationality? Yeah, so like like here in America, well, we have a lot of people coming from other nationality countries. Nationality is a funny word, though. Are you divided by your your social status in life from poor to rich or from how much you love the country? It's more about rich and poor than it is about race, I think. Even though that is a so factor. This is saying people are more divided by our class rather than our nationality. Somewhat agree. If that's like maybe like, just a regular agree. Yeah, regular agree. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. Strongly agree. Me three. That's where we're at right now. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I knew this. People because don't, people don't fucking understand that economic stability is freedom. Yeah. And that's how you have the the freedoms that it is have. important. And I'm sorry, but if you guys wanted to fucking take a look, I don't know if you heard this, five different food processing plants in America have burnt to the ground. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right after the, the White House said that there's going to be food sor shortages, yeah. and then all of a sudden the five biggest f food manufacturers are burnt. So go check that out. No, Welcome to my fucking space report. Right? <laughs> 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 I got my okay. tinfoil hat on all the time, baby. Does, okay, so... Here, we'll get back to the quiz. Because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulations. Strongly disagree. <laughs> From each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea. Jesus Christ. That's um, disgusting. That makes my fucking ass pucker. So, from each according to his ability, right. to each according to his need, so basically, if you don't have the ability to um, like work, you can get free shit, but the people that ha can work have to work to pay for that shit. Is that what that's saying, or is it saying people that work and have a skill? Mm -mm. No? No. So it's basically saying that we're all equal and we all need to pitch in to uh, pay for everybody. Okay. Like socialism or, and Strongly disagree. communism. The freer the market, the freer the people. True. Fucking 100%, bitch. Yep. Yep. It's a sad reflection on our society that something as basic as drinking water is now a bottled branded consumer product. It is disgusting, yeah. You agree with it? Yeah. Okay. Strongly or regular? Strongly. It's gross. I strongly agree with it. That's capitalism, baby. Land shouldn't be a commodity to be bought and sold. Fuck you. Come off that. 
Duh. No, the government should own it all and tell us where we can be. Right. It is a regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to their society. Mm. It's regrettable. So you don't like well, you know, people getting rich off their shit. Hmm. Agree. You're kind of right in the middle. I disagree with that. I think, like, for me... Send your test, Micah! If you just, like, come to America with nothing and you can make a business and get rich, you deserve it. Protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. I don't even know what the fuck that is. So it's like the anti-monopoly thing. Uh, uh, no. Damn. That was the fucking sickest black metal fucking rip ever. Thank you. Uh... So basically, Disagree. it means Dis- intervention I, is yeah, needed sometimes. Yeah, no, I just, I just kind of like. I mean, because I gotta really think about them. But I, I'm gonna go ahead and disagree. Okay, just right for one. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. Uh, disagree. Social responsibility. Oh, social responsibility? Not like fiscal, like, to the shareholders. It should be... No, I, you know, I still disagree. Okay. I still disagree. Mm -hmm. The rich are too highly taxed. Go fuck yourself. I agree with that. Because they make more money. They pay more. I don't know. I pay too much, too, but I think we all do. I... That's, I, I think the problem is I that... Don't think, uh, I don't think the rich are too highly taxed. I think the rich well, need to be taxed. But because... The rich corporations are taxed. Rich they corporations have, they got the loopholes. But the, the loop thing holes. is, they find a way around that or the way that make, a way to make that make them profit as well. The yeah. Ta- the tax thing. So I'm not worried about them being taxed a lot. I always like remember watching... like When I worked at, I worked at Frito-Lay for a while... And then a lot of our media, they show us how the shares were going and, right. like, how the company's moving. And when we're not progressing, like, we need to progress. You guys need to do better. And, do, and it was really weird. But, um, yeah. I think these potatoes are going to fry themselves, motherfucker. Get on that forklift and just stab a fucking thing of fucking oil and let's make a fire. <laughs> So, it will keep going. Those with the ability to pay should have access to higher standards of medical care. So, if you have enough money to get better medicine, it yeah, should be okay. I agree. Okay. Sorry. Agree or strongly agree? Agree. Okay. Governments I'm should... Not a monster. Governments <laughs> should penalize businesses that mislead the public. Every business... Strongly disagree. Every fucking business misleads the public. No, so government yeah. should penalize the businesses that mislead the public. I agree. Okay. God, am I a fucking liberal? No. <laughs> you have a penis and a good set of balls. I do have a good set of balls. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. Yeah, you got kids, man. Thank you. And uh, that's what it takes to be on the other side is have a good set of fucking balls. Because <laughs> right. they're all fucking... A genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of a predator multinational to create monopolies. Strongly disagree. I think government needs to get out of the way of free market. Mm. Abortion, when the woman's life is not threatened, should always be illegal. Agree. Always be illegal? No abortions? I agree. I won't say strongly. Okay. All authorities should be questioned. Agree. Just regular agree? Yeah. Okay. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Strongly agree. I clicked it before you even said it. I ain't fucking do this <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> Goddamn You know, yeah, fucking yay, man. Yeah. Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. That's a rough one. 
Because most of those fucking museums, I love going to museums and shit. And it's usually I must say this funded. I must it's usually say this funded by like donors and shit. Yeah. Uses but this is uh, this one that says taxpayers I, I know, I, should I not just, be expected to I, pay for it. I know. I'm just. I think we have a responsibility to our kids to provide them arts. Yep. So or history. Disagree. I'm gonna say disagree. Okay. Schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. What the fuck? That's how kids. If they're there, they fucking. Mm. What is compulsory? What the fuck are you talking about? You can't be like busted for truancy and shit. You don't have to go to fucking school. Well, then no one would go to school. (laughs) It's saying it shouldn't make attendance, like, compulsory. It shouldn't be... You shouldn't be forced to attend. You can attend how you want. No. You should... You should be forced to attend. I had to suffer through it. So do you motherfuckers. So, strongly disagree? Just disagree. I don't feel that bad about it, because I did... Oh, man. No, I slept a lot. I slept a lot. I wonder if they call something else somewhere else. Uh, so truancy? Uh, no, is it like sloughing? Oh, maybe skitting off. Sloughing? We used to call it sloughing. Skitting? Skitting off, I don't That's know. Skeeting off, I don't know. What That's the fuck? fucking 70s shit, dude. You are No, right. man, like skeeting, man. That's fucking... That's age, 2000. Age, skeet, yeah, skeet, let's skeet. Go, let's go skeeting off. We'll let's go skeeting off of school. And we're going to get us a, a, a six-pack and we'll get wasted. And get us a sixer and we'll play jacks behind the fucking billiards pool hall. And then we'll, we'll, we'll drag race for pink slips. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the quiz. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Never heard of her. Show me. <laughs> no, I'm going to keep saying oh, that every dude. time because he, you're, at least you're being blasphemous to someone that's not our God. Mm-mm, not mine. Not mine. All people have their rights, but it is a better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. <laughs> So let me read that again. That was rough, dude. I'm pretty fucked up. All people have their rights, but it's better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. Is this a new G- GBK song? No. <laughs> this, this is a new disturber song. <laughs> Strongly disagree. <laughs> really? Yeah, man. Just kidding. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. Strongly agree. Me too. I got my ass fucking whipped. And when I see fucking timeout shit, that well, I told well, you that. We do the timeout. With the well, kids. there was a one time I got attacked by two dogs <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> timeout. And the lady was this old lady. That's what you had coming, motherfucker. And I was like, get your fucking dogs, bitch. <laughs> and she's like, you two boys are so naughty. You leave that mailman alone or you're going to timeout. I'm like, fuck timeout. I'm like, seriously, like, I'm, I'm like spraying them with dog mace and swinging my mailbag at them. Boom. And fucking hitting them because I have a big scanner in there right. and lump their heads. Yeah. Because they're, they're trying to bite me, dude. They're attacking me, dude. I'm like, I'm fighting, dude. And uh, the mace finally kicked in, and yeah. they're like, oh, shit. And they ran away, like, and then I sprayed them right in the butthole, dude, <laughs> <laughs> with the mace, because I'm like, I'm going to make it worse. You know what? You know what I fucking love? That's my thing. Um, <laughs> God, in Friday, uh-huh. the dad's talking about being a dog catcher. Get a dog. He's like, yeah, get a dog. He's like, I get him. I choke him. I'll punch the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mr. Like dog, man. Mr. Dog, please don't bite me. I have a family. <laughs> like I have, I have dogs, and like if anyone did that to them, I'd fucking curb stomp them. <laughs> but seriously, that dude told that story. He's like, grab him, choke him. Is like, he had his pants all blown out because the dog bit him in the ass. <laughs> dog bit me in my ass, hey son. <laughs> I, love, I love that guy. Okay. R. I. P. Homeboy. It's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. But, I mean... I'm not happy about it. As a, yeah. man, as a child, I was happy about it. Possessing marijuana for personal use should not be criminally a criminal offense. Strongly disagree. Wait, wait. Cheers. Strongly disagree. 
The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation to find jobs. Yeah. 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 That's well, the remember. basic, very basic yeah. thing. I agree. So just, <coughs> I think the, the bigger thing is to inspire, yeah. but that's when you're a little bit older. Yeah. I did that in like fifth or sixth grade. Sixth grade, I think it was, or maybe seventh grade. Anyway, I did the little thing where you do what you should be in life. Jerk off your teacher. Yeah, and that was what it's actually said. It's like, just jerk your teachers off and you'll get a degree. Huh. You'll be a doctor in no time. People with serious inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. Strongly agree. Me too. Oh, I feel bad for saying it. Sorry. Sorry, dude. No, but I mean, hail Sparta. Something, yeah. something went wrong, man. What's wrong <laughs> in the gene pool? Okay, this one's kind of weird. The most important thing for children to learn is to accept discipline. Hmm. I don't think it's the most mm. important. The most, most important. important the most, most important thing for disagree. children to learn is disagree. obedience. Dis- or discipline. Yeah, there yeah. is. Agree or disagree. Yeah. There's a formula of things they need to learn. Too that much too much discipline. Is bad, I, yeah. I saw this mm-hmm. firsthand with uh, you know, kids that we were friends with across the street. Their parents beat the fucking ambition right out of them. Like, is that the fucking uh, um, the well, polygamists? No, 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 no. No, it was childhood friends. Mm. I'm not going to say who. No, you don't Don't say it. Yeah, I won't. Yeah. I won't. <clears throat> but, no, their ambition was beaten right out of them. Yeah. Out of them. They are just turning into drones, fucking zombies and shit. Stay at home with mom and dad, swear. But, yeah, good. There are no savage and civilized peoples... There are only different cultures. Strongly disagree. And I'm for the savages. <laughs> yeah. It's a different way of thinking. I'm on well, the, it's a different way of thinking when you're... I'm on the side of the savages. Yeah. When you're pagan. Yeah. You know, yeah. you look at the world a different way. I think so, too. Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society support strongly agree yeah hey antifa get a job yeah. quit leeching off soros uh when you are troubled is it better not to think about it but to keep busy with more cheerful things like ignore it i guess agree i like the phrase uh, busy your hands and get out of your mind yeah especially when you're going through some shit first generation immigrants can never fully be integrated within their new country. Strongly disagree. I've seen well, that I firsthand. Oh, no, yeah. That's my My mom. Wife. My is, wife is fucking... I mean... Yeah. I, I didn't pay for all this. You no, you're, <laughs> you know, your, your wife's fucking... She's smart as shit. Dude. Yeah. She's, a, and she's cool as shit, too. Yeah. She's okay. She has big tip. <laughs> she has big tip. I didn't mean that. I swear it. No, I said that. I know. Oh, you're fine. She's got big tits. But they, they are pretty big. They're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if that counts as a compliment. It's a compliment. Know. I'll I'll take it. So, so <laughs> I'll suck on a layer for you. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for my guy. Chomp. It's like that's creepy. Yeah. Okay, so give me give me a beer. Bam. There Just you go. Thinking about my wife's breast right now. <laughs> <laughs> Focus, dude. We're on a podcast. Focus, man. Titties in the back. Wait for it later. Jerry, we need you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got some more questions for you. I right, got. What's good for the most successful corporations is always ultimately good for all of us. Yes, I uh, agree. The corporations yeah. make it better for us? Okay. Yeah, unfortunately it's true. It's just back to life. Mm. No broadcasting institution, however independent its content, should receive public funding. S- strongly agree. Fuck this podcast. <laughs> no, I, I, I think that, it, yeah. If public were, funding shouldn't public. fund the news and the TV stations and shit to give, fuck, you know. I, just, I, I agree. I just want to root on the side against us because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're the underdogs. Somebody sponsor us, please. 
buy us beer. That's what we need to we need to hook up the buy me a cup of coffee thing. Well, that would be our beer fund. Buy us beer. Please. Patreon beer fund. We'll get it up soon. Yeah. Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. Patriot Act. Yeah, however, what they define as terrorism then, they're not defining as terrorism now. Oh, terrorism now is being a straight white man. Because terrorism now, I mean, if we're being honest about it, are people like Antifa. They're terrorists. I mean, they're terrorists. That's what I'm saying. They want to change the government. Yeah. They're fucking communists. They want to change, get rid of our government so what's the and question change it. Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. Agree. A significant advantage of a one party state is that it avoids all the arguments that delay progress in a democratic political system. Shit, that's kind of true, though. In like a fucked up way. In a one-party system, it's totalitarian, yeah. though. Yeah, but, like... It's like the communists saying, like, this is what really happened when it's not. State-run government is, like, always bad. Well, that's me. Let me read it again. A significant advantage of a one-party state is that it avoids all the arguments that delay progress in a democratic political system. Agree. It- it, the arguments is the noun in that. That's the main yeah. feature, I guess. But it means that when like I hear not that, having two voices makes it easier. You're just trying to sway thing. my vote. Don't fucking do this backwards, my ears. Do you? Yeah, what am I now? Libertarian. <laughs> Leave my libertarian alone. He's swinging at the chair. Yeah, he is. Although the electric... Okay, let me start that Although the electronic age makes official surveillance Mike is still inebriated. I'm double inebriated. <laughs> Although the electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. So Strongly disagree. Me too. You don't need to... Dude, when I was in the UK, dude, there was like those fucking 360 cameras everywhere, yes. dude, all over the buildings. It was so pretty gross. crazy. So gross. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. Strongly agree. Me three. Like pedophilia. Yep. Capital punishment. My cousin tried to pass a bill. He's a con- he was a congressman years and years ago. He tried to pass he tried to introduce a bill that we would execute pedophiles. That would be a good one. I would vote yes. <laughs> yeah. In a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. Agree. A- oh. Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. Strongly disagree. In criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. Punish them or re- Dis- disagree. rehabilitate them? Disagree. Okay. Oh, down you go. It is a waste of time to rehabil- rehabilitate some criminals. Agree. I agree with that too because some of them are just fucking good goddamn. Hey, mother, look at me. I've got a cat's head on a popsicle stick. <laughs> I'd let him out. Fucking no, that's he sounds fun. <laughs> that's Edmund Kemper, dude. He used to do that shit. He's fucked up. The bi- the business person and the manufacturer are the most important are more important than the writer and the artist. So the businessman and the manufacturer are no, yeah, I I, got I, you. I, I disagree. Yeah, it's fucked disagree. up. They're making the product, bitches. Yeah. Mothers have careers, but their first duty is to be homemakers. Agree. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to go up and it's like doesn't fit the page on my phone. Yeah. Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the planet Jesus genetic Christ. resources of developing countries. Oh Duh. my god. Strongly disagree. They do more for those motherfuckers than anyone. Especially uh What's his name? Bill Gates when he gave them all fucking uh, malaria and shit or something. 
polio. G- That's gave, him all, gave, gave him all polio with those he, fucked up gave, vaccines. Gave him all AIDS. <laughs> it, was like, yeah. it was not a fucking guy fucking a monkey. It was Bill Gates coming over fucking some refugees. Well, they're not refugees. I guess like poor no. people there. <laughs> Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> yeah, man. That's a tough question. No, it's just because you said maturity, and I think it's maturity. It is maturity. Making peace. You said mas- making peace with maturity. the establishment is an important aspect read. of For shit. maternity. <laughs> maternity. <laughs> I mean maturity. <laughs> Agree. Agree. Yeah. Okay. Agree. Eventually, you have to move out of mom's house and get a fucking job. So. <laughs> right? Sorry, kids. Astrology accurately explains many things. <laughs> Strongly disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Micah is fucked up. <laughs> it's adorable. I'm fucked down. What's He's up? Fucked down up and soon. down. In and out. In and out. Burger. You cannot be moral without being religious. Agree. Charity is better than social security as a means of helping the genuinely disadvantaged. Agree. Some people are naturally unlucky. Agree. It's a weird fucking one in there. I know. (laughs) (laughs) It is important that my child's school instills religious values. Disagree. It's the last fucking. Well, this is in, the last. This is the last page on right, it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right. We are sending our kids to Catholic school. Finally, a look at sex. Stop. Yeah. Sex outside marriage is usually immoral. Uh, un, yeah, usually immoral. Sex outside marriage <laughs> is usually moral. It just sounded weird when I said the first. It's time. usually moral. It's usually moral to have sex outside of marriage. Strongly disagree. And it gets women's heads cut off. Just mm. ask OJ's ex-wife. Watch. The club don't <laughs> fit. I took a shit. <laughs> a same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. Disagree. Pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. It is. Well, do you agree with it? Or do yeah, you think it shouldn't yeah. be? Or do you I, do? I agree with it, because it is. Just agree or strongly agree? <laughs> Just agree. I don't want to sound like a pervert. Like, <laughs> I strongly agree with fucking porno. I love fucking I fucking my love dick. porno. Head. Oh, my God. Oh. Dude, when I was in junior high, me and my two buddies... Broke into some guy's fucking shed in his backyard with tin sheds. Yeah. And we all grabbed boxes out of there and ran away, and they're full of porno magazines, dude. <laughs> it was like he got a fucking uh, a storage shed for all his pornos, and they're like 70s and 80s shit, dude. For old man shit. And it was like, it was like, it was, it was, we were like, all right. I'm, we all started looking at it, and we all look at each other like, I think I'm going to take my shit home now. <laughs> Jesus, you guys are monsters. Dude, we were like fucking like 13 and 14. Poor old man Johnson. To this day, can be heard. Where's my shuffling, porno? Shuffling through the bushes. Where's my porno? With a half boner. Just trying to jerk his dick. I got half a job. I need my porno. It's been 20 years. <laughs> 20 years of dead shit. That's sad. That makes me kind of sad. But, yeah. I want to go jerk him off now. <laughs> I think one tug would pull it off because he's dead. Skadoosh! <laughs> Skadoosh. To this day, they can hear his ghost looking through the bushes. Where's my porno? Where's my porno? Their teenage son that lives in the house is like, Sometimes I see this guy in my in my closet, and he looks like he's trying to jerk off, but he's really frustrated, and he keeps asking me where his porn is. Like, he points at me and looks me in the eye while he's jerking off. It's really creepy. <laughs> That's <laughs> Finish the fucking okay. quiz, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what goes on in private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. Strongly agree. 
Me three. I like blowjobs. Yeah, that's sodomy. I reiki up, bro. It's actually um, illegal here. Cool. Yeah, so. no, no one can feel naturally homosexual. Disagree. We all met that kid in fucking elementary mm-hmm. school. I used to play hopstop, hopscotch instead of baseball. Now Shut up, good. dude. I played hopscotch. And the Chinese fucking... <laughs> Sorry. What's those called? Those Squid things? Squid games? Well, they, no, the ones where they have all the... You have the little fucking, like, stretchy things around the like, two people's legs, and it moves, and you gotta... I don't know. Yeah. These days, openness about sex has gone too far. Strongly agree. Because holy shit. Now, let's see where you stand, Joe. <laughs> there we go. So, you're looking... You can look here. Uh-huh. You're very far right... <laughs> like he's like Suck three it. three quarters authoritarian right. <laughs> he's um. Told you. Uh, the next one is actually authoritarian left. The next biggest one. What I don't want to be a commie. And uh, the social scale, you're like almost halfway down on the libertarian left, and on the economic scale, you're like. A little fucking cunt hair into the authoritarian left. <laughs> so, yeah, man, you're uh, oh, yeah, you got a lot of like spots. Like, yeah, it's all yeah, your all your shits. It, oh, you should be in North Korea or motherfuckers should just get jobs. Stop living off. It my says uh, your political compass is economic left right is two point eighty eight. And um, your social <laughs> libertarian authoritarian is 1.33333, 333, have a 66, Satan. And um, <laughs> so basically you're in, you're mostly um, authoritarian right wing. I mean, barely in it, but it's all in that spot. Deutschland over alles, homeboy. <laughs> you don't like those. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like those. Look at that picture, no. dude. Oh, you may. I like nothing about him. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's oh, hilarious. Man. My grandpa's probably just fucking Rolling high, in his grave. High-fiving me from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, at least Joseph turned out right. Cool. Well, let's play your song. No, it's uh, your song. No. no, this is my song. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess that's the show, huh? Um, yeah. Well, fuck a duck. That's the show. Screw a kangaroo. Yeah. Finger bang and orangutan. Orangutan. Support your local zoo. (laughs) (laughs) Everybody knows that shit, right? (laughs) That was like a thing we used to sing when we were kids. Yeah, it was. Um, so, yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in to Rocket thanks Podcast. tuning in to Rocket. Support Blackbird Tattoo and Piercing. Um, if you can, rate, share, do all the bullshit that all the people that make money doing this do, and yeah. then maybe we can actually, like, afford more than just beer. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be cool, but, you know, whatever. Uh, buy the new GBK album if buy you're able it. to get your hands it's on it. It's fucking amazing. We're going to play one more song for him. I'm going to play my favorite song from this album. It is called. I love their album titles. They're they're, they're just mean. <laughs> <laughs> Two forks and a muttering diviner. Oh, <laughs> I really like the change ups in the song. This uh, they're really, really, yeah. really cool. Buy it. So uh, yeah, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll holler at you in two weeks. See you, bitches. I'm gonna fart. Do it. I Oh yeah, man. Oh, it's not bad. I should be back in the My legs are asleep. I have a quick point. Wake away. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
fucking groovy. I'm all like, yeah. Oh, I love that shit. That's cool shit. They, they change up the lot. I'm surprised I didn't pick this one. I don't know. Like, when, when I was playing the game, well, I picked the one for like, the hardest oh, thing was to change it up. If you introduce shit and me and Paul are riding together, yeah. that's just gonna take six reps. I'm like, we're getting too fucking non primitive. <laughs> but me and him are gonna start taking Wednesdays and then we're gonna be new bank on Raymond's Pike. Raymond's Pike? Pike. Raymond's going on a hike right there. So it's a thing from the Black Legion. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here. No, I'm good on beer. This thing seriously got me to slow down my Yeah, I forget that I have one. I mean, not. I'll sit and pop on it and I'll break it. Oh, I can have a beer. It's like all warm. Oh, shit, bro. It definitely makes it beer. Dang, I got two, though. I'll make it up. No. I got three. This is the first one that I'm on the second one. Yeah. Same as the one I gave you, but it's uh, the one I gave you is called Dog Tag. That was the one I had before. The first one I gave you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One molecule. Sisters or whatever. Stop it on the money. Yeah. So they just isolate the hamper and have the hamper and keep it on. It makes me feel like I'm more drunk. Ha <laughs> ha 